discuss this over and over again. And the last but not least, announcement of a time-bound two-stage transitioning process, which shall in the first stage feature multi-regional referendums by which constitu constituent components shall recommit or opt out of the Nigerian Union. And if they want otherwise, will move forward with whatever the outcome of the referendums are. We need to stop people. I'm calling on my Igbo people, my Ijo people, my Yoruba people, start identifying yourself as who you are. I was listening to a brother the other day and he said, there is a group of people, they're looking for smart people. This guy was in a white man show discussing. There's a group of people that score highest on every standard test. They are called, he didn't know how to say, he said they are called Igbo, Igbo, but nobody talks about them. I said, why would you be talking about ourselves when we are busy promoting Nigerian brand name? Why would they know my people? The people that knows it, that can do and undo, the chosen one, the language of heaven, the ones that know who they are. Why are we hiding behind the Nigerian brand? Why? Let those benefiting from it go and be announcing their Nigerians. Let we that have never benefited go back to our ancestors because they are waiting for us to come and reclaim who we are and stop the identity crisis. And that's where we are going forward with the spotlight on the wisdom of our ancestors. We love, love, love our ancestors because we know who we are. We are part of their DNA. This thing that we are doing, who we are, did not come from any other place but because of the lineage that we have within our system. We are going to discuss to, with you guys exactly the dimension of intelligence, which is the Igbo tradition, because these people came and destroyed who we are. They said he's the only person that can speak English that is smart. But Anya Ahola had an English. Yeah? They are all naked. After speaking English, if you tell them to go right, they will go left. If you tell them much, much, they will go in left, left. They don't know right, left. We have seen them and their professional uh, uh, certificate and their professor emeritus and their mathematician from Harvard. Stop making them in charge of things because they know how to speak English. We are looking for people with our ancestral wisdom, yo. Ancestral wisdom. The wisdom of Solomon. Where even if you're not present and something happened, just from me hearing the stories, you will know who did what and what did what. And it's not by putting fake wig that looks like a wig on your head, thinking that wisdom will connect from the wig into your brain. No, <laughs> it's called dimension of intelligence, which is our forefathers tradition that tells us how to. My mother, she didn't go to school. She called that level of wisdom. Yes. My mother will speak with her eyes. You will know when she says yes. Mm -hmm. You will know when to say so. And the visitor is there and things are happening in the background. Yes. Things are happening in the background. Fast, fast, fast. Highest level of intelligence. Because I want it. They said there are seven cents. I want a hundred cents. Mm. That has not been described. Because we know. When we used to speak to our forefathers, they will come to our dreams and talk to us about things that are yet to happen. Yes. You will know. You will pick up the phone and call your son. Son, how are you? Are you okay? Your son will say, mommy, I'm okay. He said, no, you're not okay. What's going on? Exactly. Your son will meet them without anybody. No phone call, no revelation, just you. How do you describe that sense? Like my brother will ask. How do you describe that sense? Undocha? Let's drop the madness and let me allow my sister to dive more into this that we need to go and acquire this level of intelligence from everywhere. We don't care about your so-called fake certificate that you're using, parading, claiming that you're speaking English. If you do not understand Daniel Lerene, Daniel Raro, mm. you are still as dumb as hell. Yep. You need to learn. Go Tell ahead. Them, sister, humble yourself and learn dimensions of intelligence in Igbo tradition. Akonu Che. If you don't have a conuche, you don't care the type of certification that you are carrying around. Mm -hmm. Please get out of the way of our people so that we go and get a conuche to know where we're going. So our people broke it. We told that this time is so short. So we'll just do something fast, fast. One, one plus general physical, like academic intelligence. This is the ability to learn and develop skills needed for survival 
and to perform daily tasks. That's one sect of it. Another one is spiritual intelligence. Ability to understand deeper meanings of things, events, and occurrences. Then emotional, emotional intelligence. How you relate to other members of the community, the family, and with the issues that concern the well-being of the community you belong to. Our people believe, our ancestors believe, that there is individual variation in levels of intelligence, reasoning capacity, ways of seeing things and evaluating things. That's why they said, meaning intellect is like a bag. Each person is meant to carry his or hers. That means embrace your own level of intelligence. Know your limitations. So we respect the views of others in my culture, in Igbo culture, yes. We respect the views of others. However, one needs to know and accept his or her limitations. Even at that, we go. We always go with the superior argument for the well-being exactly. of our people. Exactly. Because it's when you know your limitation, you say your own view, the other person will say, then eventually we go with the superior argument. It will be so clear. Everybody will understand it. So people that don't know will be willing to learn from others who should know more than them. And that's why they say, Ikwa mari, ibe zia. Meaning, you learn from other members of the community who do know more than you. You can't know it all. One is expected to ask questions when in doubt, rather than make mistakes. Onyajuju anage fuzo. Those who ask questions do not miss their way or get lost. For one to be seen as an intelligent person in Igbo culture, one should be able to balance the various dimensions of intelligence. That is, there should be balance and equilibrium. Otherwise, our people will say, you have one single unbalanced intellect. That means that you don't have that balanced akonuche that will know, make you know so that your intelligence will balance. Once it doesn't balance that way, my people will identify you as not being too intelligent, not for chara. No, this person's intelligence is just one-sided. It's not balanced. And you will not be seen as someone that will represent others. In nope. that, because you don't really get things. And it's okay. And it's okay. You know your limitations are still within your borders and your boundary. Let others who know speak. Don't speak on things you don't know anything about or you have limited information about because you're going to make people make mistakes and people may die. So in our culture, some of the people we look up to today as leaders, even the so-called well-read, <laughs> In those ancient times, there wouldn't have been people that would represent us anywhere because my people would not see them as intelligent enough or wise enough to represent others. They might be intelligent enough just to live in their family and do whatever, but to represent the entire community, no, they wouldn't have been anywhere near leadership. We see them now. Just looking at them, you know that this is stupidity looking at you. And when they now talk, you say, why did you talk? Why did you even talk? When you didn't talk, I didn't know that you are this uh, <laughs> that ambassador of man. Now you have spoken. <laughs> you have disgraced yourself with the words. So please, let's try as we keep working towards restoration of our neighbor. Let's begin to embrace this balanced intellect. Because it's available. You can. That's why I say, that means that you're able to learn if you feel that you're limited on anything. Ask your brothers and sisters that know to teach you so that you embrace and acquire more information and be a better person and more useful 
to the great Igbo nation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my sister. We are here to complete this job. Like we always advise you guys are shareholders in what we're doing. You know, share this program, discuss with others, get your children involved. My daughter cannot go a day without mentioning her ancestors. Her, her ancestors are showing up everywhere she goes. Begin to teach your children your culture. Begin to teach them who you are. If you are home speaking English to no more, stop and begin to speak your native language, your mother's language to your children. Let's focus on this. God is available. He's waiting for us. He's eating rice because we're there being naughty children. He said, as soon as we turn around and say, Father, we are willing to do this job, he will put his plate of rice and say, okay, let's go. Please identify yourself as whatever nation you're from. We are no longer going to promote the colonial brands. We are calling on all our brothers and sisters in all the African nations. Begin to identify yourself from where you are from, not what uh, France named you, not what Portugal named you, not what uh, Britain named you. Begin to identify yourself. This is how we start. This is how we start. When we come out and tell them who you are, they will know that whatever manipulation that they did is falling apart. And we are not using any weapons to do that. Yeah. It's all about knowledge. Begin to identify every conversation. Oh, I like your name. I like your outfit. I like the way you do things. Tell them it's because of your ancestors from Igbo land that made you who you are today. Yes. Stop promoting the colonial brands. Stop, Stop. giving money to those that don't care about you. If mm -hmm. you have excess, give to your sisters and brothers down the street, not to the churches. Yes. This is yes. just a bunch of business partners to promote colonialism, nothing else. Yes. yes. That's why we are shouting. Our brothers and sisters that run the churches, the bishops and every you won't see, tell them, at least let, let them mention what is going on. To they our will people. never. No, they will never. They are there for the colonial masters. Please, we need to do this work. Nobody is going to do it for us. Don't let the blockage of what they're doing stop you. Yeah. People are getting the message. Again, we want to thank our full soldiers. Thank you for all your work. We want to thank the daughters of truth back home. Thank you for what you're doing because we are going home. Devil has no choice uh -uh. to get a quick notice and get the hell out of our way. We are going home. Yes. We are going Thank home. Time, so on next week, brothers and sisters, we are happy to have you guys here. We'll return next week by the grace of God. We'll continue to learn and enlighten you guys. Yes. And please, please, please be part of this. Don't be part of those that will sit there and say, oh, yeah, uh, now who is Nina? Nina's is not. You are Nina's. <laughs> if you're not promoting Nina's, that means the brimstone is coming your way, brothers and sisters, because it's the only way out, out of the condition that we find ourselves in. God has given us someone that did this research 23 years ago. We are the one that decided to be in the wilderness. The present has been delivered. It's only for us to open it up and embrace it. Let's stop wasting time. Our brothers and sisters in all the African nations, we are standing in solidarity with you. We are praying for you. We are going to get out of this. Not by praying. I don't want to get it all confused. No. I mean, we are using we are using actions. Yes. And we are also connecting with our ancestors and our God to help us as to go into this situation that yes. we find ourselves in. So thank you. We'll see you guys next week. Uh, remain blessed. We will we'll win this. We will sit. Yes. Brothers, we will be here. To welcome this new African continent. Yes. 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 Next week. Mucho love. Bye bye. Bye.